In Lodi, California, headquarters of the International Lodi Rules Sustainable Wine Growing Program, we connected a young, energetic sheep bass rancher with an old vine Zinfandel vineyard to test out the ancient farming practice of using sheep in the vineyard for weed management just before bud break. Here's what happened. My name is Frankie Arbrua III. I'm a fourth generation sheep rancher here in Lodi. I've been interested in grazing vineyards ever since I've come to Lodi. I mean, I rented a piece of property right across from a vineyard and it just every year looked at those, you know, those weeds out there, as weird as that sounds, and thought, man, my sheep would sure love to eat that. I purchased the vineyard about 43 years ago now. These vines are about 65 to 70 years old. I never thought there'd be sheep in the vineyard. We're trying something new and we can study the amount of nitrogen that's put back in the soil and things like that. So there's a lot to be learned. One of the main reasons why I wanted to have the sheep out here in the vineyard was to reduce our use of using pesticides. They've only been here for four days and they've been in the back three acres already of the old vines. They've just done a great job mowing down the weeds in the back. Some of the things I think are really beneficial on using sheep out in the vineyard, the first thing is post-harvest. We're able to bring the sheep in while you still have decent feed quality and graze through the whole vineyard floor. It's like you mowed everything from vine to vine. We're able to reduce our tractor passes by not having to spray very much. In the early 90s, my brother and I were farming and we decided to diversify and start wine grapes. We incorporated sheep in the vineyards and that entailed trunk suckering as well as grazing the cover crop. When it comes to setting up for the sheep to graze at a vineyard, the process is actually fairly simple. A few days before you want to haul them in, you have to show up and bring your uh, usually electric fencing. And other than that, you just bring in you know, a water trough and, and drop the sheep off and they're pretty self-sufficient. My best employee is and always will be my Border Collie Jack. He's as good, if not better, than three people that actually know what they're doing when it comes to herding livestock. And there's absolutely no way I could do this business without him. He's invaluable to me. Sometimes trying something new in the vineyard means repeating something that farmers have done for centuries, but we may have just forgotten that that was something cool that you could do that would be beneficial for the vineyard. And it really makes farming exciting and it feels very natural and holistic when we go back to some of these ancient farming practices. It's been a great experience having the sheep out here. It's just such a natural thing to see sheep out there grazing in the vineyard. If somebody was to ask me how it feels to finally have my sheep in a vineyard in Lodi, I'd have to say this is probably one of the most fulfilling experiences I've had since I've been in Lodi in the last four or five years. Hope the sheep, you know, live up to the hype and, and do a good job and, and hit every vineyard in Lodi. <laughs>